Good morning, student. I'm Purnima, and I welcome you all to my English class. Today, children, I'm going to revise the chapter subject verb con conquer. And uh, yesterday we've already started with it. So, first of all, I would like to revise whatever we have done yesterday. In a nutshell, we will I will discuss the important points with you. All right, then we will do the lesson. So first of all, what is the meaning of subject, verb, conquer? And then I will ask you what is subject, what are three, first person, second person, third person, and what is a verb? And then we will be revising our this lesson. Okay. So uh, first of all, children, what is the meaning of subject, verb, conquer? So the meaning of subject, verb, conquer is subject, verb, agreement what is the meaning of subject verb conquered subject the meaning of subject verb conquered is subject verb agreement okay an agreement done between subject and verb so now children i will tell you what is a subject okay what is a subject the noun or pronoun come which comes before the verb is known as the subject Okay, I am not talking about that subject and predicate which was there in the sentence. Okay, so what is a subject? Noun or pronoun like uh, Sita throws a coin. So children, this is a verb here and this is a noun which come before the verb. So this is a subject. And this is also a noun which comes after the verb. So, this is an object. Okay. So, um, what is a subject? Once again, I revise with you. The noun or pronoun which comes before the verb is a subject. Noun or pronoun which comes after the verb that is an object. So, here Sita comes. Sita is a noun which comes before throw. So, this is a subject. Um, coin is a noun which comes after throw. This is the ob object. So, I hope this concept of subject and object is clear to you. What is a subject? Subject in and Sita is a subject. This nouns come before the verb throw. And the noun or noun which comes after the verb like coin is coming after the verb. So, this is an object. But subject is more important here. In many sentences, you can see subjects are no objects are not there. Okay, objects are not there, it will do. But if subject will not be there, then it will create a lot of problem for us. We have to manage subject. Okay, so subject is clear to you. Now, work children in the layman language, what is a work? So work is that word in a sentence which tells about Three things that what a person does, okay, what a person does, what work he has does, okay, then what what action he takes and what is the state of the person. What work he does, she eats, she drinks, she dances, she is doing cycling. Okay, so all these are verbs. In this, what has been told to you? All this tells what work has been done. Then action. Okay, she dances. She immediates others. Immediate is a action. Is doing she or he is doing an action. Then children, what is the state of a person or thing? That is also a verb. Verb tells about the state of a person or thing. Okay. The cat sleeps on the sofa. So in which state cat is? Cat is in the sleeping state. He is lying unconscious. Lying again is a L-Y-I-N-G is a Okay. It's a uh, verb. No movement. He is lying. So these are some of the Verb children, verb stands, verb, action and the state of a person or animal or thing. So this is a verb. Now there should be an agreement between subject and verb. 
one more thing which i would like to say which is very important that what is the first person what is the second person and third person two important things which i would like to discuss with you now so first of all children what is the first person what is the second person and what is the third person that is very important that also you have to note it down first of all children a first person second person third person is a pronoun this you have to remember this is a pronoun you can note it down So, children, you can see I have written first person, second person, third person, both singular and plural. So, actually, children, these are pronoun. And what I told you, what are what were what is subject, noun or pronoun which comes before the verb that is a subject. So, this can be the subject in the sentences. So, what is first person? It is I, and plural is we. You have to learn is second person is you, and you or your. third person is he she it any name or any singular thing children they them okay so these are few of the things students which i think you all should know these are the basic concept of subject verb agreement this basic thing you should know without it you won't be able to understand okay so i have discussed with you what is a subject i have discussed with you what is a uh, verb all right and then i have also discussed with you first person second person third person then children one more thing i would like to discuss with you here and then after that we will be starting our lesson so what is that thing children now um, if a person all right if a person is uh, if a subject is there okay and you can uh, if the subject is singular so generally plural turn by adding s or es into that into that subject okay i mean to say children if subjects are there okay subject can be noun or pronoun and that subject is singular so how will how you will change it into plural you will change it into plural plural by adding s or es you will change into plural by adding s or es okay so rain rains boy boys so you can see girl girls okay so children these are some of the subject these are some of the noun and i have added s sometimes es is also added in that to change it into plural form so this is with a case of subject now what about verb children verb also have singular and plural form verb also have singular and plural form so how how verb have singular and plural form so you can see children when the verb is singular 
S is added with signal work. This is it is just opposite of this one. You can see, children. If subject is plural, we add we add S here. But if a verb is singular, okay. If a verb is singular, so what do we add here? If a verb is singular, okay. Then what do we add here? If a singular verb is add there, so we add S with the verb. So in singular verb. s is added just remember this very important point in singular verb okay what is added s is added all right so like children for example so this is subjects in subject what uh, how the plurals are formed by adding s as you can see it here but in verbs okay in verbs Singular verb and plural verb. You can see how it is formed. Okay, each each is we have to put s with the singular and with plural each. Dance dances dance runs run. So children, you can see. In the verb, it you can see in the verb it is simply just opposite with the subject. In subject, in the plural we add s, but in the verb it is simply opposite. Okay. In verb, what do we you have to add with the singular? Okay, with singular verb s is added here. So s is added with the singular verb. This you have to remember. always remember that s is added with singular verb okay now my first so now chill now i'm going to start it after explaining all the basics now i'm going to start with the rule number 1 so what is rule number 1 with singular subject we always use singular verb okay with singular subject we always use singular verb so if the subject is boy we will always use singular verb the boy runs fast so this is singular subject and this is singular verb why is it singular verb because s is there with the verb how do we know this is a singular verb S is there with the verb. All right. Now, my grandmother tells me. So this is singular, singular subject, and this is singular verb. S is added here. Okay, singular subject, singular verb. Here S is added here. Okay, so now I hope this is clear to you. With singular subject, we always add singular verb, and uh, with plural, with the plural, we always add plural verb. With plural subject, we always add plural verb. For example. boys run faster plural subject plural verb boy runs fast see the difference singular verb singular subject Okay, so in plural verb we never add s or es. In plural verb we never add s or es. It is always with singular verb we add s or es. 
so i hope children this is clear to you okay so uh, you have to write it children you have to write otherwise you will forget um, as this is coming in your this uh, this is this is in your syllabus of unit 2 so you have to note it down in your copy also and give the copy for correct now one thing once again i repeat rule number 1 with singular subject we use singular verb with singular subject we use singular verb remember s is always added in singular verb with plural subject we add plural verb okay so this is two important rules i have discussed with you and with this children i will be continuing with the next other rules and that you have to listen very carefully so today children i am going to my dear students i am going to continue and will tell you rule number 3 two rules we have already discussed first with singular verb we always with singular subject we always use singular verb and what is the second one with plural subjects we always use plural verb okay now i am going to tell you about rule 3 what is rule number 3 that when two or more singular subjects are connected by and the verb should be in plural okay so when two singular subjects okay what is rule 3 when two singular subject subjects are connected by and then the verb will be plural okay so this is a rule number 3 what is rule number 3 3 when two or more singular subjects are connected by and so the verb should be in plurals like for example Sohan, Ishan, and Ravi are brothers. So you can see this is subject one. It is connected by and, and this is subject two. Okay, and this verb is plural. All right. so what is rule number 3 rule number 3 is that when two singular subject so one singular subject is shall and the other singular su subject is uh, ravi they both are joined by and so children the verb which we will use here will be plural so shall and ravi are brothers okay so this is rule number 3 now i will be telling about rule number 4 okay rule 4 we will discuss about rule 4 that when two singular noun refer to the same person the verb must be in singular okay so what is rule number 4 when two singular noun refer to the same person then the verb used here will be singular okay so children when two singular noun when they refer to the same person all right when two singular noun when they refer to the same person the verb must be singular for example manisha friend and colleague is coming 
So, children, this is the example. With the help of the example, you understand. Once again, I repeat the rule. When to singular noun. Okay. Refer to the same person. When to singular noun. Refer to the same person. The verb must be singular. So, you can see, children, two singular nouns are friend and colleague. It is referring to the same person. Who is the person here? It is Manisha's friend. And she is her colleague also. So children, the verb used here is singular. Okay. The verb will be singular. So, rule number three. When two person, they are joined with and. Okay. And these two person are will be different. That the verb will be here is plural. But when two singular noun refer to the same person. Like here Manisha's, uh, Manisha's friend and colleague. So friend and colleague they are it is referring to the same person. So the verb use will be is. Okay. So this two. So now we have done with rule 3. And now rule 5 will be discussed with you. Now children, rule 5. So I am writing rule 5. Now when two nouns are there, okay. The students, when two nouns are there and these two nouns, okay, they make one unit. What do they make? They make one unit. When two nouns are there and they make one unit, the verb must be in singular. Alright? Like, bread and butter is a perfect breakfast. Okay? Rice and curry is my favorite food. So you can see children here, bread and butter is one noun, two noun is making one new unit. And then rice and curry, these two are the two nouns, um, but it is referring to one unit. One unit means... That means it is also for food. This is also for use for food. This is also liked by the child. That this is also liked by the child. Okay. Similarly, bread and butter both are a good breakfast. So, here children, it is taken these two. Okay. If they are making one unit, then we will use the verb. Yes. We will use singular verb. We will not use plural verb. Now, rule number six. Rule number six is that when singular subject is qualified by each and every. Okay. When a singular subject is qualified by each or every, the verb must be in singular. Okay. When a singular subject don't. Now you have to see this thing. The subject should be singular. So when a singular subject. Okay is qualified by each or when the singular subject is qualified by every then the verb which is used here will be singular now like each boy was given a present every girl has a book of her own now rule six so when a singular number when a singular subject is qualified by each or every, the word must be singular. Each boy was given a present. So children, this is singular subject and singular subject, singular one and we are having each before it okay so when the subject is singular and when we are having each before it then 
we use singular verb similarly children when the subject is singular and we use every before it it carry with it singular subject like every girl has her own book so this is singular subject this is singular verb and this every before it okay so this you have to see when singular subject is there and which each or every is before that singular subject then the verb will be singular okay as you can see it here each boy was given a present so singular subject with each before it was singular verb will be there plural then girl singular subject every is there and what will happen children which verb will be there has will be there now so this is clear to you all now we will do rule number 7 okay so then our children you have to revise the rules otherwise you will get confused so till now we have read rules related with subject and verb how verb is agreeing with the subject when add is there and when the subject is singular when it is having each before it then which verb will be used so you have to keep revising otherwise you will be confused by it now children i will be discussing i will be discussing with you rule number 7 okay i will be discussing with you rule number 7 what is a rule 7 student so in rule number 7 children if one of if the phrase one of if the phrase one of is followed by a plural noun it is followed by a plural noun then the verb will be then the verb will be singular okay if the phrase one of is followed by is followed by plural noun then the verb will be singular the verb will be singular okay for example one of the boys sings well one of the boys example one of the boys sings well so try to understand this one children if see one of the phrase is followed it comes before plural subject then the verb used here is singular okay now i mean to say children if plural verb is there and it is followed by one of it is followed by one of okay that means one after one of one plural subject will be there then the noun will be singular as you can see in the example one of the boys boys here is plural it is followed by one of one of the boys sings this is sing it is not sing it is sings sings as is added that means it is singular verb okay so always remember this when the plural subject okay when one of comes before the plural subject and then the children the verb which will be there will be singular singular verb will be used like another example one of the book 
one of the book. There are so many books and one of the book is mine. Okay, so here you can say, see books are plural here and one of is there, one of is there in, is there before the books and here verb is singular. Okay, verb is here singular. So always remember this when student when plural nouns are there plural subject okay and one of one of is a phrase which comes before that so which type of verb we will use here we will use which verb we will use singular verb all right so children this is uh, the so many rules we have learned and still many rules are left okay which I will be telling you in my next video. Thank you and have a nice day ahead.